Hello and welcome to Take Refuge 3D. Welcome back and if you're new here then just welcome. And in this video we're going to cover a question that I got on the channel on one of my older videos. And the question was, how do you add faces from curves? From Laura Malnick. Uh, thanks Laura. Um, so I assume you mean how do you turn curves um, into faces? And there's a few different ways to do this. And the simplest way is this, if you've got a curve like this, okay, you'll see that it has this blue um, uh, area in the center, and that shows that it's uh, ready to be either extruded, which is this, or you can turn it into a face or a sheet just by using the patch command. So you can type in patch. I've got that sent to Alt F. Okay, so that's the first way. Now, Sometimes, obviously, not all of the curves you're going to use are going to be a square like that. So if we go into front mode and we just take out a line from there and we'll grab another line and we'll take it from here and we might want to bridge these two together, right? So we can make a G2 bridge like that. Okay, and now we've got all these individual curves. So if we mirror those across, okay, by pressing Alt X and mirroring it and then Alt X and down and again right we've got this uh, shape here so this is comprised of quite a few different curves if we hover over them you can see that but you'll see that if we select all of these curves we can just patch the hole in okay so that's an easy way if you have problems with this you can join these curves together Right, and it'll come into one curve and then you've just got this singular curve okay um, another way would be to use um, something like um, x nerve so if we go back a step and we start to uh, move these around and we've got these different items in different places um, x nerves which is available on the studio license um, you can run the x nerves command um, x nerves um, there we go and then we can just go select boundaries hold down shift and add to our boundaries okay so that's another way that we can do that you can also do that by lofting okay so these are all different ways that you can get curves and turn them into faces or sheets another way and one of my favorite ways is let's say we take a cylinder um, over here Right, and then we've got our, let's get a polygon in the front. Okay, we can give this some shape. We'll just pull it back a bit on the Y. Okay, and we can shift I and we can imprint this into the shape. Okay. And then we can get a face with a bit of a, uh, a shape to it. So that's one cool trick that you can do. And then you can even delete the face and end up with the curve network that you had there so you can then start to work with this uh, curve network so you can then turn the face into a curve as well so you can turn that shape into the cylinder right into that shape and then into the curve network so that's really fun and you know you can take this quite far as well so you could go and make an SVG and say Inkscape or Affinity uh, Designer or Illustrator and um, we could drag that directly into our viewport. Okay, choose our units. I'm going to choose millimeters because this is quite large. Okay, now we've got that. I'm going to just rotate it 90 degrees on the x-axis and we'll bring this to the center. Orange. So uh, that was another question I got. How do you... Um, make an object to the center so when you grab something with g you can press grab again to move it around in screen space and if you hold down control you can snap it to different points including the origin point so now we've got that there i actually want to bring it forward a little bit and let's just get a a sphere okay so and i'm just going to go into front mode so i can see where the sphere is in relation to this we might want to move this around center that a little bit then we can select our curves and we can I would actually 
recommend often if you're taking in an SVG, unless you know exactly what curves you've built, um, to rebuild this. So we can press Shift F to bring up our uh, suggested options and we can come down to rebuild here. I'm going to choose points and I'm going to choose like a high number like 80. Uh, maybe not quite that high. Mm, no, I think 80 was good. Okay. And so this will rebuild our curve and it's just going to cause you less problems later on. So then we can shift I that onto there. We can change the method and this is a cool thing. It shows you um, little tooltips now in the new version of Plasticity. So you can hover over this to see how the different methods work up there. So I'm going to choose normal so I don't get the stretching. Okay. And now I can just select the rest of the sphere. Okay. And I can hide my curves. And if we go and scale this up, you can see I've got this curved object. And we should be able to easily select these interior uh, parts of the typography. Okay, and we've got that. We can press 4 on our keyboard and we can select everything. Shift F and choose the thicken command. Okay, and we should, because we rebuilt the curve, we're not going to have too much jank um, on these uh, SVG because uh, we've rebuilt the curve and it should all be continuous. I'm just giving it too much oomph. Okay, and then just look at that in another matcap. So you can use this in a lot of ways and I just think these are really handy tools to sort of build up like I don't know what this could be. This could be like a key ring or something. Um, you know you could connect it together or something for 3D printing or anything like that. Um, but yeah this is how you add faces from curves or you turn uh, curves into faces and there's many many different ways. Um, you can get into doing uh, the deform command as well, which is a whole other thing. I did a tutorial on that um, a while back. And um, yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Don't forget you can get a discount on Plasticity using my affiliate code REFUGE10. Um, so you can get a 10% discount off any Plasticity license. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Tschüss!